Hey there, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft SQL Server to create a database, create table, add your data into it, and then you can export your queries or export your database for usage in Visual Studio or any other application of your choice. So whenever you open SQL Server Management Studio, you will be presented with option for selecting a server type where you can choose between compact edition or database. When you choose database, you will be connected to SQL Server edition, install your own system. For me, it is SQL Server 2008. If you are watching this in 2015 or 16, it could be 2014 or recent version of SQL Server. If you choose compact edition of SQL Server, then you don't have any sort of authentication or so. You can directly connect with your database and edit it. Then you have server name. For me, it is dot slash in capital SQL Express. You can have multiple other server names as well. You can browse from the list by clicking on this drop down list then you have two types of authentication first is windows authentication where your windows login id will be used to authenticate for sql server then you have sql server authentication where separate authentication details will be taken from your server then you click on connect button which will open the connected database here on left side of the screen here you have database when you click expand it you'll find available database created here right now i have sales db as database with the table as sales log i can execute a query by clicking on new query Okay, let's create a new table. You can go to your database and then create a new database and name it something like cells IT as your database name in this dialog. Nothing more to add, just click on OK. Now your cells IT database is created. It is going to be empty with diagrams okay also there won't be any tables views etc so select tables folder and click on right click on that folder and click on new table as option here you'll be able to create your columns so let's type cells id then have data type as integer right now i'm not going to allow nulls and i'm going to select this column with the help of table designer to set a primary key okay so this is primary key from this key we are going to recognize our table with while making connection with another table so let's add so here you can find another column let's have it for salesperson and give it wire care allow nulls then you have items sold have it again fire care then price with integer and quantity so this is the type of data that we are going to collect in our table so let's save this name it sales inventory and save this table so you will find it appeared on dbo.sales sales inventory folder and you have your columns here with sales id as primary key now let's save this and execute a new query 
select star from and type sales inventory end it with semicolon and execute the query and you'll find that at the bottom here you have table structure as sales ID, salesperson, items, price and quantity. Now let's insert a data here. So let me keep in caps lock and type insert into name of our database it's sales inventory inside the bracket we are going to type the name of columns sales id then sales person then items then price and finally quantity i'm going to close the bracket now and going to type in values inside which I'm going to type name as one salesperson as Amy then sales item being pen then we have price as 12 and quantity as 10 going to close bracket now and going to end with semicolon and execute the query after that one row is affected that means our data is added here into table let's change minor things and add a few more entries i'm going to change this into pencil i'm going to add four and five i'm going to execute this query as well and make sure three to four entries are there now type check then have it as notebook 5 and then have sixth entry I'm going to execute again now let's execute this query too okay so here is violation primary key constraint cannot insert duplicates key in here so let's add a fourth one and 11 22 okay okay one row affected then fifth entry then I'm going to change the to chains then I'm going to type sketch note keep it 19 and 27 and execute again so all the rows are now added now let me just get the data from sales inventory execute the statement you'll find I have five records in the structure all the data is unique except the salesperson okay so how about if you want to change the fourth record for that we are going to type update let's just assume that we want to change salesperson to Bob where sales ID equals to 4 I'm gonna execute this statement okay one row is affected that means our data is updated okay so cells from Bob are recorded into our table so there are no duplicate entries for salesperson each entry is now unique so far we have seen insert query then update then we can also delete use delete to delete let's say fifth record we want to delete this record only keep four records in our table now let's type delete from cells inventory 
where I T let's say sales ID equals to four. Okay, so this entire row should be deleted. A1 row affected. Let's check out again. Okay, so these are my four contacts now. So far, we have seen insert, update, delete commands. So these are mostly commands or queries that are useful for you to add and update data so in future tutorials i'm going to explain you how to work with joins and also there are a few more things like checking out the database making complex queries stored procedure so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and I will see you in next tutorial. Thank you.